here's another point to my last video too. Here's kind of a testimony. So I was married for 14 years. I divorced 14 years ago. My kids are 19 and 13. I raised them on, on my own. Um, I've got a story behind all of that too, but we're not going into that. And what I want to say is this. Um, when I first got divorced and I was in my apartment with my kids, I, the first year, did not give a crap about men. I was so hurt by the fact that I was divorced that I wasn't going to start dating again or anything like that. When I had gotten married, the online dating thing wasn't, it was like, like, like weirdos did that in the beginning. Like we did, I did, you know, so by the time I got a chance to do it, it was about a year after I was already, di I wasn't even divorced. I, that's the whole point of me coming on here. I separated from him, got my own apartment and stayed separated for three years, for three years. The first year I did not date at all. The second year I started dating. But the next two years of dating guys, online dating or whatever it is, if I wanted to become serious with somebody, as soon as I told them I wasn't divorced, it, it knocked the whole thing gone. And so, again, people want you to be done with your past relationships. They don't want to move into your past relationship and then carry on where you left off. That's That sucks. And I realized I was doing that with with my ex too because my past relationship was a shitty relationship so when my ex started treating me like shit i gave him a lot of crap but what i'm saying is that you know i don't know i guess what i'm saying is that if you want to actually move on and be in a healthy relationship with someone then you cannot be tied down to your past you can't be tied down to your ex you can't be tied down to all you know your the exes and then and then make the future people feel insecure because you have moved on and just be honest with yourselves come on you know you can make all the excuses in the world but the biggest excuse is that you don't want to be by yourself you don't want to do it by yourself you don't want to have the financial loss or whatever it is that you're going to lose because you're not living with that person anymore but how about freedom in in your and peace peace of mind freedom and and space to be able to move on in a healthy relationship with somebody else instead of dragging somebody else into your shit and bringing them down that fucking deep hole of crap because you didn't move on and they don't deserve that and neither do you. So.